Good morning, everybody. It's finally Friday. I'm so excited. I bet you guys are too. I'm feeling kind of off oh, this week. Um, just allergies are bothering me, but um, I'm so thankful for all the sunshine and everything that's all in bloom. I hope you are too. Um, but I am so thankful that it's Friday. My boys are still sleeping. I wasn't able to get them up. And honestly, I didn't have the energy to get them up yet this morning. So they'll watch this later. Anyway, um, so Friday, May 15th. We're already halfway through May. I can hardly believe it. Today's uh, devotion title in Jesus is Calling is Take Up Your Shield from Ephesians 6.16 is what it's based off of. So in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. <clears throat> this evil one we're talking about, this is the same one we were talking about the other day, it's that devil, that Satan, okay? The fallen angel. It says, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish, that means to put out those flaming, that means like on fire, arrows of the evil one. All right, now listen as if it was God talking right to you. There is a battle going on every day, a battle for your mind, and Satan has unlimited supply of arrows. His arrows are the lies that he whispers to you, trying to weaken your faith. So remember this, guys. Satan doesn't always like attack like a, a big on full out, you know, epic battle like you would see in the movies. He sometimes does it in a very sneaky, devious way. And he does it by stuff like this. His arrows say things to you in your quiet moments like, no one loves you. Even Jesus wouldn't forgive that. There's no hope for you. You are worthless. Lie after lie after lie. He tells us these lies a little at a time. And eventually... We start to believe him if we're listening to him. So this is what it says. Protect yourself with your shield of faith. When you feel the sting of one of Satan's lies, come to me and hear my truth. And the truth is that I love you so much that I died for you. There is nothing you can do that I won't forgive. In me, there is always hope. And you are my own special creation, always precious to me. So take up your shield of faith, stand up to the devil, and he will run away from you. Come close to me, and I will come close to you. Hmm. James 4, 7 through 8 says, <coughs> in the New Testament, so humble yourselves before God. Resist that devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Now listen to this part. It says, wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. Remember, we're all sinners. We all do things that are wrong. So he's saying, wash our hands of that. That means that we need to ask for forgiveness, and we need to let it go. We need to clean our hands, like we're doing a lot during this coronavirus, and let it all come off of us, okay? And purify our hearts, okay? For your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Isn't so often our loyalty divided between God and the world? Sometimes we want the things that the world has more than God. Sometimes we seek out the world's advice or like our friends or, um, you know, our parents advice. We seek out the advice of the world or the um, acceptance of the world or we want the things of the world versus wanting the things of God or seeking him. We listen to the things of the world instead of listening to God. This is what he's talking about. The Bible's talking about how we're divided between the two. And we're falling somewhere here in the middle. God's telling us, no, wash our hands of that, that um, the enemy. Wash our hands of that. Purify your heart and come from over here. Come closer to me, to God, okay? And, um, and then we won't be so divided. And that brings us to, we've been wrapping up our Lord's Prayer um, today. And we finished, we went through the whole Lord's Prayer. This is what Jesus taught us. Um, today, I wanted to talk about how 
Jesus promises that if his word is inside of us, we can ask for anything. Okay? When we're reading the Bible and when we're constantly in his word, we're starting to think or want like what God wants. Our will starts to become more like God's will. Our desires start to become more like God's desires. Our heart, purified, starts to become more like God's heart. Okay, so that's us drawing closer to him, away from the way of the world and closer to God. So think about where are you on this spectrum? Are you over here still really, really far and close to the ways of the world? Or are you way over here? Most of us are kind of somewhere in between and kind of edge and flow back and forth. But we need to make every effort to work our way um, back closer to God. The best way to do that is to just talk to him and be in his word and let that wash over you. And that will help you to start to have like mind as God, okay? Like heart, like spirit, like soul. Um, and then when we ask and when we pray, God will answer those prayers. When we pray according to his will, we can ask for anything and it will be granted. Um, John 15, 7 says, but if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. So that's why we've been learning the Lord's Prayer. That was uh, one instructed that Jesus was teaching us how to pray. So we need to get it from our heads into our hearts. And that was um, our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, we pray in his name because he is always good. Okay? So we want to become more like him and get his word more in our heart, heads and in our hearts so that we can be of like mind and of like heart as God. All right. Well, if you feel so led, send me a video of you at some point sharing this uh, Lord's Prayer if you would like. If not, that's okay. God knows. Just keep working and get in your head and keep reading it and keep learning it and it will come. Okay? But it's a great prayer to pray when you don't know what to pray. You'll know that you're praying his will because it's what he instructed you to pray. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to close out with a simple prayer today. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful um, rest of Friday. Get your stuff done. And um, some of you, I know it's your last day of school. Woohoo! Um, others, I know you just have like one more week next week. And then some others, maybe two more weeks. But that's okay. We're getting that much closer. <laughs> this weekend, I'm going to be sending out today. An email with um, your uh, the, um, video lessons for the weekend. Um, that's from our regular, like we do at church, and but they're in video instead of us doing them live. So I don't know if you've been watching those, but they're really good. Um, I know my boys really like the so and so show. That's for the preteen age group, um, but they're really funny. So and they're enjoyable, and it's a great representation of the Bible story with application. So enjoy those. They're great. Share them with a friend. Um, also, today at 4 o'clock, we are doing our kids' Zoom time. No uh, story time tonight. We're doing kids' Zoom at 4. So remind your parents, um, keep an eye at the time as you wrap up school today, and get on with us. I just want to see how your week went, and uh, we can keep it short, we, you know, 20, 30 minutes, and just kind of chit-chat, but you're welcome to leave whenever you want. It's just nice to see each other and say hi and touch base, okay? All right, guys, let's pray. God, I thank you. For your word, God, help us, Lord, to seek your word more often, to read your word more often, so that we can become of like mind and of like heart as you. And Lord, that will strengthen our faith, so that when we're tested by the enemy, when he tells us these lies, we will be able to stand firm in our faith, knowing your truth, knowing what is the truth, and how much you love us, and that there's nothing that Satan tries to tell us or tries to do that you haven't already overcome. So thank you, God. Help us to read and seek you, become more like you, and to stand firm in your word. We love you, God. 
in Jesus' name. All God's children said, amen. All right, guys, have an awesome, awesome weekend, and uh, we'll be back here on Monday morning.